Hello, my name is Matthew, and I'm an application engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. Our tech handheld scanners use a gathering method called Structure Light, and the data is matched similar to a panorama. This can hold great accuracy over some distance, but what if accuracy is needed to be higher than the system spec, or you need to scan across spaces with no data bridge between the two? For these situations, a photorammetry target kit is needed in conjunction with the scanners. Photorammetry kits process several photos with known objects and targets by matching them together to create a highly accurate skeleton of our data. Our tech scanners work with the Aicon Scan Reference Kit, and in this video we'll go over the steps to set up and scan with targets. The first step is to place our coded and non-coded targets across our desired space. The key is to place an even spread so 4 to 6 non-coded targets are in view of the scanner at all times, and 10 coded targets are within view of the reference bar as we take our photos. Once placed, we can take several photos at various positions, which will be processed for target locations. This is an important step to have done right, so make sure you have a proper focus and lighting so that way you can capture the targets in the reference bar. You don't need the entire bar to be within view of each photo, but you want to make sure that the entire bar is within a majority of them so that way focused photos on specific areas can find their place when processing. With our photos taken, we can open our scan reference software and create a new project. You'll be asked a few setup questions, such as the target size, how were they placed, and properties associated to your reference bar. After entering the values, we can plug in our SD card to copy our photos over. Clicking Next after the upload will begin the process of creating our target layout. Before exporting out the target system, you can verify that they match the expected layout by rotating the preview around. With our newly exported target file, we can move it onto our computer we will be scanning on, or in my case, since I'm using the Leo, I'm going to move it to the scanner itself. If you are using the AVA or Space Fighter, the Scan tab will have an option to use targets, and what target file to reference for use. The Leo has a checkbox you enable while the scan is open. At this point, we can remove our coded targets if we want, since it only tracks the non-coded. I prefer, however, to keep everything on in case I need to add any new photos to our project for other spaces that I want to track. Once four to six targets are within view of the scanner, it'll automatically align to the target system. From here, new data will come in while you move across the targets. If you have too few targets in view, the scanner will stop capturing data, so make sure your object is properly coded with the necessary amount of targets to capture everything. You can stop the scan and start in another position, or make a completely new scan. The data will be pre-aligned due to our target system. Inside Arctic Studio, I can import in the Leo scans and see that my various scans are already aligned based off of that target system. My scans that I stopped and started in other positions come in perfectly to match with the other two scans I made of each cabinet on their own. From here, we can take our measurements or use the scan as a base to align other projects together with. When it comes to using the photorammetry system, the setup may take some time because we have to place our individual targets, but the time saved during the alignment and that peace of mind of the high accuracy make up for it. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos on 3D scanning and CAD software.